Good morning, Pat Zemer here with MagnaWave, Tuesday morning, office hours. We come to you every Tuesday morning to answer questions, whatever they may be, about PEMF, wellness in general, uh, MagnaWave, training, machines, whatever it may be, I'm here to answer those questions uh, for you. So if you'd like to uh, post a question in the chat box here on Facebook, just please uh, do that and it'll come up and we'll be able to answer it for you. If you'd like to talk with me, just text your number and name to 502-599-9973. It's 502-599-99, is that right? 73, that's correct, 9973, and uh, I'd be happy to talk with you. I like to do that because a lot of times we get deeper into the conversation instead of someone posting a question, I answer it, and then we go on, and maybe there are some uh, secondary thoughts that uh, they, you would like for me to share or secondary thoughts that you want to share. Uh, if you would like to do that, give send a text in uh, with your name and phone number, uh, or actually the phone number will come, but send a text with your name and phone number. I will call you back and we can have that uh, conversation. If you should choose to do that, we'll certainly uh, hook you up with a piece of MagnaWave gear, uh, whether that's a shirt, hat, uh, thermos bottle, whatever it may be. Uh, we'll take care of you and uh, get you what you'd like to have uh, out of our MagnaWave gear storage area and uh, be happy to, uh, to do that. So send me a text. Uh, post your message uh, in the chat box and we'll move from there. I do, there have been a couple of questions that have come up over the last week that I'd like to uh, answer for you at this time. And uh, that is uh, one has to deal with, uh, comes from a person who, Jessica, who works in an animal sanctuary and uh, she wants to know about tigers, treating tigers with arthritis. Would this be beneficial? And uh, certainly a tiger is an animal. A tiger has a circulatory system just like we do, uh, has issues, has arthritis, and the uh, device could be very beneficial uh, for tigers uh, or any animal for that matter to, um, to be uh, experience some relief uh, receiving this type of treatment. So yes, uh, lions, tigers, uh, bears, whatever it may be, you can certainly use MagnaWave uh, to help them feel better and relieve the symptoms of a lot of the different things that they may be experiencing. So first time I've someone's talked about tigers, I know we've treated elephants in the past. I personally ha have uh, treated camels in Dubai. Uh, we've, we've treated uh, eagles uh, and uh, don't know about fish, but certainly you could, uh, I, I don't know, but I'm just saying that, but it, it helps water. And so if you had a, want to put it over a, uh, a, a bowl and, uh, Never mind. <laughs> Give me a call. Send me your name and number, and we'll be happy to talk about whatever it is uh, that you would like to do. Good morning, Chris. How are you? And uh, so we're here to, to do that. Another question uh, that someone has asked is, uh, do you certify uh, people to be in your system who have other PEMF devices or other machines? And certainly we do that. There are people who have bought their machine. Maybe they buy it on the open market or they buy a machine from another uh, supplier and they would like to be a member of our uh, family and work uh, with the uh, systems that we have and they'd like to uh, have the support <coughs> of MagnaWave. Uh, all you got to do is simply give us a call at the office. We'd be happy to talk with you about that and tell you how you can participate in our certification program, marketing services, whatever it may be that you want to do. I mean, it's not that we're trying to exclude anybody, but we do want folks uh, to make sure that they have a machine that fits the type of uh, services that we provide and that they uh, work to uh, fall into the MagnaWave uh, way, if you will, of doing things so we all can stay on the same page. We like to work together and support our practitioners uh, as best we can. But if you have a question like that, simply give the office a call. It's 502-274-7868. Is that right? 274-742. 7868 uh, call the office and uh, ask for Aaron and we'd be happy to uh, talk with you and answer any questions that you may have um, about the certification process. So again if you have a question just post it in the uh, chat box here on Facebook and I'd be happy to um, approach it or send a text to 502-599-9973 and I will be happy to uh, 502-599-9722, is that correct? Am I right or wrong? What number is it? Uh, 
that's the, that's the one we've been using. Is that the right one? Yeah, I'm yeah. giving the wrong number out. It's 502-599-9722. Let's make sure that that's right here. Let's uh, bring this up. Here, I'm going to check it out. All right. See, check it. I just want to make sure we're correct. Um... It's right, 9722. Where do I get 9973? Let me write that, scribble that out of here. <laughs> I'm very sorry if you've been trying to text to have part of the conversation. It's 502 599 9722. Uh, there was a comment on the Facebook page today about everybody, their new badges. They're getting their MagnaWave certification badges, and they, they like the picture, and it makes them look younger, or the pictures are good, or whatever. I need to get one of those badges so I not only look younger, but maybe it'll help me remember things a little better. <laughs> <laughs> as I as I do that. So anyway, if you want to text and you want to talk, it's 502-599-9722. Uh, been on the road with the MagnaWave Express, but we're back in the office for a week and uh, in the office studio this morning, so I'm glad to be here. Post your questions if you have them. We did receive a question uh, the other day uh, dealing with... Um, the AccuScope, I guess there's a post circulating, circulating around the internet and Facebook and various places referring to the AccuScope and the Myoscope. And the, of course, the post says they're better than MagnaWave and better than, than anything. And this is why and you need to use them and all that's wonderful. And, and, and number one, I will say that there are many, many devices that are available that are very effective for various indications. I have been one to espouse the use of complementary methods uh, when dealing with injuries. The important part is you take care of the injury. We happen to use our device and believe in what our device will do, uh, whether it's used on its own or in, in a concert with another device. So for someone to say that this is the only thing you use and it's better than something else and you shouldn't use the other stuff is simply, uh, to me, uh, a marketing ploy, which is great, a marketing statement, and that's what they, that's what they want to do. Uh, but so to kind of explain it to you what the difference is, that was the question that was posed, is what is the difference between the AccuPulse and the MyoPulse, so on and so forth. Okay, all things considered, the AccuPulse machine is a microcurrent device. You take pads, you put a gel, you place the pads on the body in the area of the injury, and then you, you control the machine to put in energy into the area. Now they go on and talk about you can have specific, actually you put it on automatic and it reads your system and puts the energy into the system that they, it feels that the uh, system needs. And the big thing that they talk about is that there is biofeedback given back to you so you can see what's going on. Neat feature and it is there and, and that's okay. All things considered though, all, like I said, there are many different devices that are very effective and can, in fact, get the results they want. Uh, they were, the AccuPulse was FDA approved in 1983 for musculoskeletal and muscular issues and some pain relief. Now, on the overall structure of the thing, the mi microcurrent devices are really more directed towards healing, and TENS devices, as far as the electrical current devices that are out there, are more directed towards pain relief. Now, so uh, with our device, the difference is, you, as I was saying, you put the pads on the, on the area and you control, the, you put the frequency on and it supplies the energy to the area. It's a little more cumbersome. You have to use the gels. You have to do that. It is, does do a smaller area, so you have to do a lot of manipulation of the particular devices to cover a more broad area. There are a lot of practitioners over the years that have used that device, and, and I don't want to say they switched totally to our device, but they adopted our device, the MagnaWave device, as part of their procedure for uh, supplying the health and wellness uh, to, their, uh, to their animals or people. And, and so that's the primary differences between the two devices. The MagnaWave device does put the magnetic field, if you're doing a shoulder, for example, and you're using a, a microcurrent device and you've got a problem right here, you might put a pad here and a pad here and stimulate that area that you're dealing with. Whereas with the MagnaWave, you'll put the coil on the area and you'll penetrate the entire area all the way through the body, the skin, the uh, muscle, the tendon, the cartilage, the, the, the nerves, the bone, everything can be nourished with our type of signal. So that is the primary difference between the two devices. The modality of MagnaWave, someone says, oh, well, it's FDA approved. 
Yes, it is. And it is for musculoskeletal, so that's fine. But it was 1983. There are several... FDA approved uses of the PEMF modality today for the very same things, for arthritis, for pain relief, for uh, inflammation, for example, incontinence in women, for glioblastoma brain tumors, for many different uses for bone healing that the modality of PEMF is approved by the FDA. It's device specific. So yes, the AccuScope did achieve a, a FDA approval. The MagnaWave devices and our digi digital devices, as we've talked, are in the realm, are on the way to be uh, FDA approved for various indications. And we are now uh, finishing the final stages of our CE approval for health, uh, health CE approval in Europe and Health Canada, um, which many devices in our realm do not have and uh, uh, have not even worked to uh, achieve. And we put that very high. We have studies with our devices, uh, four studies, um, uh, lumbar pain, prostate, uh, incontinence, and um, uh, knee pain are the four different studies that we have conducted with our devices, not pulling from someone else's study that says, well, it does this. These are studies that were conducted with our devices specifically. There's not a lot of companies in the PEMF range with our type of uh, powered equipment that have done studies as we have or are continuing to do studies as we are. So, the, uh, uh, in my feeling, that it complementary with microcurrent, TENS devices, laser devices, whatever it may be, MagnaWave can be very complementary, or it can be used on its own for those types of indications, as many people have done and continue uh, to do in their practices, uh, whether they're treating small animals, large animals, or people. Uh, so, there you go, the AccuScope, Myoscope, uh, MagnaWave, PEMF comparison. If you have other questions, uh, just put them in the chat box. I'd be more than happy to an uh, answer you. Cystic fibrosis, any suggestions how to support a 10-year-old child? Well, we've had some uh, uh, great testimonials on people, what people have done with cystic fibrosis to aid the pain, aid the, the functions that people struggle with when they have that type of situation. Uh, typically, uh, we treat areas of concern and do an overall body treatment. And, um, uh, you know, I, I, you know, quite often we say put it on and treat it. What I would do in that case is use the large loop, treat the torso and the shoulders and the hips and the knees. I'd treat for uh, eight to 10 minutes on a very moderate, comfortable setting and just get the good blood oxygenation going, get the good blood flow going. Good, healthy blood can do a lot of things for a lot of, very, for a lot of different indications that we're dealing with in order to improve the body's ability to heal itself. Can you, will you certainly heal something with this? That's not where we go. We're simply providing in energy to the body to allow the body to better do what it wants to do. Now, a doctor can take this information and look at it and say, okay, we're gonna use this to stimulate that, to cause this, to provide healing. And they can approach it in that, fa in that manner and they can talk about it in that manner. And that's why we've done studies with doctors uh, to be able to sit back and say, this is what we see, this is what it will do, and this is how a doctor or a person as a practitioner can apply this energy to the body uh, to help hopefully get some health and wellness uh, benefits from it. Great question. Uh, appreciate that very much. If you have another question, uh, simply put it up there and I'd be happy to answer it. If you want some MagnaWave gear, send a text to 502-599-9722. Text me your number and I'd be happy to phone you back and we can have a conversation about whatever it is that you might like to uh, be talking about with regard to MagnaWave or PEMF products. Or simply put it into the uh, chat box and I'd be happy to approach the question at that point. Any other questions there in the uh, box at this point, uh, Brad? No. Nope, nothing's in there. Okay. And got one, for you? got one for me. Okay. Do you happen to know if Magnoid can be covered by insurance? Okay. Now, if we're talking about, this is where the FDA comes into play. The FDA is required uh, in the United States, and you have to have FDA approval or clearance, there's many different ways to describe that, in order to have insurance cover uh, what you're using the device for. And so 
there are a few devices, as I've said, that are FDA approved. There's a whole new thing that develops once you gain a FDA approval, then you have to have the insurance companies agree or accept that you're providing this therapy and then in fact provide the coverage for it. And that is a whole new challenge on its own. Well, all this changed back, I don't know, 100 years ago or so when the FDA separated PMF therapy, massage therapy, acupuncture, various modalities away from the American Medical Association or from uh, use as recognized medicine. And so that has meant the struggle for those devices, for those modalities to gain FDA approval has been a challenge uh, over the years. As I pointed out a few minutes ago, there are several devices, incontinence in women, uh, autism, depression, uh, non-union bone fractures, and now uh, brain tumors or body tumors, glioblastoma uh, devices that are PEMF devices that do have FDA approval uh, to be used, and many of those devices are in fact covered by insurance. However, there are a few insurance companies that got on the bandwagon or stayed on the bandwagon years ago that said we don't cover magnetic therapy for whatever reason. Uh, they would approach that uh, for whatever their reasons were that do not cover um, magnetic therapy or PEMF type of therapy treatments. Now, when people get their devices approved, when someone is setting a device into the cycle to gain FDA approval, they may call what they're doing uh, TMS or this some kind of do, 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 do wave. And that is what they get part of their approval. So they're, they're said, they don't say that they are pulsed electromagnetic field therapy or they approach it in a different fashion. So, but still, they have to be uh, uh, approved by insurance companies. But sometimes if you don't call something, you know, what, what is it? Uh, just do something and ask for forgiveness later. Sometimes if you, if you have a device and you get it approved and you call it this and, it, and, and the, the, the statistics are there, the studies are there that show what it'll do, and you present it to potential insurance company for payment, and they say, well, what is it? And you say, well, it's this and it's that, and here's the studies. They'll say, oh, okay. But if you say that it's this, then they say, oh, no, we don't do that. And so then all of a sudden now you've got to overcome that hurdle to, uh, to get down the road in that type of uh, situation. Okay, I do have a, uh, let me see here, I got a Ben's calling. Let me see if I can get old Ben on the line. Good morning. Hey, Ben. Good morning. How are you, buddy? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Great. Um, I've got a question about uh, uh, one of the new machines that you guys have just come out with. Okay. Uh, it's real simple to the semi. Could, would you mind talking about that? I'm not sure if you've done that on the show, okay. on your show yet. Uh, okay. So uh, you're talking about the semi and the semi five and the soul? Uh, it's, it looks real similar to the semi. It's an analog unit, I believe. Okay. Okay. Sure. I'll, I'd be happy to uh, address that and, and cover that with you. Great question. Thanks for asking, Ben. Uh, the, the soul is the machine that you're talking about it is a spark chamber device. It is, uh, in brought to us from the pulse pro or the PMF solutions company, uh, as a lower power device, similar to the semi or the semi five. Uh, being a spark chamber device, it is controlled in the same manner as which the Pulse Pro and the Max machines are controlled with a intensity knob that go, starts at basically low and goes all the way up to high. It does not have specific settings in the middle, but you can certainly control it from low to high. It produces about half of the power of the Pulse Pro or the Max machine. Uh, the Pulse Pro is very close to the Max. And uh, it's lightweight, uh, very durable in its use, and it's in a, in a watertight type of container, so it's, a, it's uh, flexible and easy to use in those types of situations. I would say that, and it's the typical thing, if, if someone is dealing with, with uh, where they want very quick response, then they're going to want a more powerful machine. 
But if someone is in a situation that they want a good response and, and a relatively fast response and they have the time to use a lower power machine, then the Soul fits that uh, picture just like the uh, Semi or the Semi 5. Now, there are practitioners who have more powerful machines, then they'll use these smaller machines for a couple of reasons. Maybe they've got something that doesn't need the power and they want to use the machine as a second device in their lineup, or they have a customer that they want to say, here, take this machine home and use it for two weeks on this indication and basically rent them the machine. We're going to have a, a service available from us that you as a practitioner, Ben, could have your, could arrange a rental for your customer so they can then have a machine in their use for a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever it may be for their particular issue that they're dealing with. But that's what the machine is. It's about half the power of the Pulse Pro uh, and it is much smaller. It weighs, I don't know what it weighs at this point, uh, about uh, 18 pounds, maybe something like that. Does that help, Ben, with your uh, question? Yeah, it does. Uh, uh, does, the, uh, uh, does the unit have a fan in it? It does. It does. It is a fan-cooled unit. Um, that uh, It has a 10-minute timer. So you, you turn the unit on, hit the start button, it runs for 10 minutes, and it does it does have uh, the fan openings, and it is a fan-cooled unit. Is the, uh, is the unit uh, about the same power as the semi? I believe you said that. Yes, it is. Uh, and in fact, it, 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 I haven't done the tests lately, but they've been doing some tests while I've been on the road. It might be a, just a tad stronger than the semi, but not... Uh, they both are in the, uh, uh, when you talk about using the paddle in the, in the 3,000, 3,500 gauss range. Okay, so, so if somebody was, had a Simeon and they wanted to get, uh, I guess, the Solo, mm -hmm. uh, it, it wouldn't be really, uh, as far as cost-wise, better off just to keep the Simeon. Is that yeah, right? I mean, there's the Simeon, the Simeon uh, is, I believe, 69.50 now is the, uh, Price on the on the semi and the sole and the semi five or or seventy nine seventy nine hundred dollars basically. So um, the semi uh, only has high, medium, and low. I don't want mean to say only, but it has high, medium, and low, and they both are very effective. Now there is a difference, as we've discussed before, that the 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 spark chamber devices feel differently when you apply the treatment than the than the digital devices. The digital devices are softer and a bit more comfortable uh, when you use the higher settings. Uh, on the those who like and understand the spark chamber type of delivery will like the soul because it's the same type of delivery. You get the same type of feeling so it's easier for your customers if that's what they're receiving to, to get it. You know what I mean? Right, but I mean you could you can adjust it back if Oh, I mean, absolutely. Oh, no, 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 no. It's totally adjustable. It's it's totally adjustable from the low to the higher setting. I'm just saying it's a different... You have a Pulse Pro, am I correct? A semi. Oh, you have a semi. I'm have, sorry. You have a semi. That's yeah, right. Yeah. I remember we yeah. talked when, at the equestrian show. Yeah, no, they, they are... The, in terms of the signals delivered and what's going on, you're fine. You know, okay. it, if you wanted a second machine to, to spread your bu business or make some uh, uh, different things and you wanted to have both of those uh, forms of delivery available, that'd be great. But to, to feel that you had to go to the soul to get to, no, you're, you're in good okay. shape. I'm in good shape. Okay. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for, for answering the question. Okay, buddy. Thanks for calling. And, and uh, I, uh, send yep. your email to info at uh, MagnaWave. PEMF, and we'd be happy to get you some gear. Thank you a whole lot, Pat. Have okay, a great buddy. day. Yep, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, that was a good question uh, on the semi and the soul. Um, so there you go. I hope I answered that for you. If you any other questions, or is there uh, some? Okay. Okay, would Magna, from Jamie, would MagnaWave help with an individual who has Graves' disease, which in return they do not, they had to do radioactive treatment to kill off the thyroid to make it uh, hypothyroid as it's safer for the hyperthyroid. Individual has a lack of energy and hoping MagnaWave will help protocol suggestions. Okay. Um, 
yes, it will be beneficial to overall aid the body. It's going to improve the immune system. It's going to give the body good oxygenation, which can lead to better energy uh, in their body. And certainly they've had something done and which is going to cause a challenge to the body. So can we totally overcome that? No, I don't know that we can. I wouldn't say that we could. But is the body going to be receptive to improved oxygenation, improved blood flow, uh, sense of well-being, good energy to the body? Most certainly those potential benefits are there to uh, help this person. And certainly it's not going to do anything in reverse. It's simply going, as, a, as I've said, going to give them some uh, energy supplementation that may make them feel better and deal with their daily life as they need to. So uh, from the energy aspect, I would think that it could certainly be beneficial. Great question, Jamie. <clears throat> Thanks for asking, and uh, be happy to uh, answer further questions. Again, if you'd like to uh, send me a text and discuss your question, it's 502-599-9722, and uh, we'd be happy to answer. Let's see what we got here. Can you explain the SEMI-5? Yes, I'd be happy to. Um, the SEMI-5 is a um, is the SEMI, basically, that is uh, made with five settings, and so now... For us, how, how do I say this? I, I just want to say what it is. The semi, we had the semi made specifically for us as an exclusive product operating in high, in low, medium, and high. And that's we had what we had for a couple of years. Now, the factory uh, that manufactures these devices for us had been working on over the time because they only had the semi for the rest of the marketplace in low and high. So you would turn the semi on and feel nothing, or you would turn it on and put it on high, and that's all, and you would get the high. And that worked out very well. For us, in the animal space, and uh, the horse and animal space, and some people, the high was too much. And so we wanted to be able to have it so we could take care of that medium setting in there and use our large wings and use the different apparatus that we have on animals as well as people. So we had them re-engineer that device to our specifics to make it low, medium, and high. Now, along the way, their low and high device that they were selling through other distributors and other people, they realized where we were and they needed to do something different with that. So they engineered a device with five settings, which you could say low, uh, low, medium, 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 high, high, and or, you know, medium, higher, however you want, <laughs> however you want to say and uh, put that out there with five settings. And uh, so that's what they have done. And uh, for us, it's the Semi 5. And so we brought it into the line as well. Now it costs a little more for that engineering and how that device works. So it costs a little more than the Semi, which we currently maintain and have in our line. There's a lot of folks that don't need more than the low, medium, and high. The manufacturing's there, the system is there. So the low, medium, and high works very well. Uh, there are some instances where someone may want to tweak that a little bit from medium to just not quite high, but high. So that's the primary difference between the semi and the semi five. Um, in, in, to be very candid, when when the, when the semi came out, I'm thinking to myself, why is anybody going to want to use this lower power machine? Is it going to do something? Barbara understands that you can get wonderful results as a business with the semi device because it's the same signal. It just may, in some instances, take a little longer to treat, so on and so forth. So when I personally saw that the results were very similar or, sent, or the same with the semi with a different application procedure and time procedures, that gee, we were giving people what they wanted at a price that was more comfortable to a lot of a lot of different folks. So. With that said, you know, I sit back today and say, okay, so we now have the semi five with five settings. Do we need it with the semi with our low, medium, and high? No. Do people understand and want to have that if that's what they want to have? Sure. I mean, you can buy a car with different, you know, you can buy a car with a sunroof or without a sunroof, and it costs more to have a sunroof than without. So that's pretty much where the semi five is. You can have the five settings, 
but it's going to cost a little more because of the way the machines are priced and manufactured and what went into it to engineer that. Or you can have the semi at, at, the, at a better price that does high, low, medium, and high, which is still our exclusive uh, uh, programming and arrangement in that device. And uh, frankly, it's been very good uh, for our customers to have that flexibility and to be able to use it as they need to with the low, medium, and high setting. Uh, the, the semi is no longer available in an office configuration. So if somebody wants the semi in an office configuration, they have to use the, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, case that we have with the lid and that type situation. The semi 5, on the other hand, has the travel case and the office configuration uh, container for that. And that, in, just as a conversation part, that and the, those units are totally sealed. If you look at the semi uh, device or the the semi five, they are totally sealed. There's not a fan. They are they have a, a patented uh, cooling device in the machine uh, that really is is, is hit or our engineer hit a home run because there's a lot of people that want to use that patented device the way he's got it, but for, their, for other kinds of uh, things. But so they're totally sealed. So the Semi 5 can be used in the field or in an office type, type of environment. Someone may carry it in a little uh, uh, shoulder bag that they control it from here and, and treat here and, and have the machine totally at that they don't have to have it over on the uh, on the ground or whatever the situation may be. So the semi five is a little more versatile in that perspective to be able to be used in an office or an outside situation or the semi five certainly comes in the uh, outside configuration with the plastic with, with the case. Uh, great question, Barbara. Thank you for asking. Uh, if anybody else has a question. OK, let's see here. We have a call. Let me bring this in. Okay, Mary is going to be with us. Come on, Mary. Hello. Hey, Mary. Pat Zemer here with MagnaWave. Hi, Pat. How are you? This I'm great. I'm great. You have a question? I certainly do have a question. I am working on a silly right now that has facial paralysis from a fall. Mm -hmm. And I have been working on the acupressure points. And we've been working on her for about a few weeks. Now, I'm not sure how many, you know, full bodies to do during the week. I'm just kind of searching for a little bit more um, input. Are you seeing, you know, paralysis is a tough deal um, because of number number one, the stage of the paralysis, you know, and the many types, when you're talking about breathing, there's many levels, there, there are uh, different mm -hmm. stages of paralysis with, with regard to movement and so forth. So, you know, if it is a total paralysis that, that someone says is totally non-reversible, uh, that's a challenge. Uh, however, uh, if, there, if it's something caused by a fall, nerve uh, injury that's not a severed nerve or anything like that, can we help rejuvenate, rejuvenate that type of situation? Now, um, so to treat the area, are you only treating the acupuncture points or are you treating the uh, face and head in general? We are do. I am doing the points, um, the muscle or the nerve line that runs down the jaw, mm -hmm. underneath the jaw, her nose, her pole. Now I am getting results as far as her ear is actually starting to stand up because okay. it's pretty much you know off to the side. Um, she has virtually no blink to her eye. Now the eye moves and functions pretty well. She sees. She has good tear duct function. Um, but we are starting now to get just very slight, tiny little blinks, um, which is an improvement to where we were. Absolutely. But in terms of full body, a mess. Uh, uh, yeah, it sounds like it. it. In terms of the full body, certainly a, a periodic full body treatment would be beneficial just to get good blood flow throughout the day and the week. Uh, to the area, but I would concentrate more on the area. Now, with that said, you know, quite often, you know, you, you, you we talk. Let's talk referred pain, for example. And I've talked about this a lot. I got a little mm -hmm. issue with my left thumb here, 
and I've treated it and I've worked on it and, and done my elbow and I've realized that a, a doctor's direction that it's right here. And, and so when I treat my neck or my upper shoulder right in this specific location, this is better. And so my suggestion would be not only to treat the acupuncture points, but to work the neck and the top line. Mm -hmm. Let's work the spine, work the area, because there could be something that's coming from being referred from another area that was pinched or injured in the fall, uh, twisted, if you will. And if you can, if you can, it's difficult to find, perhaps, but it doesn't really make any difference. If you treat the whole area and you come right. across it, you know, it, 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 you, you don't have to. I hate to even use this analogy, but you don't have to stand on a hand grenade to receive the damage from a hand grenade. It can be down oh, the way. And, and they didn't expect the Philly to live. I mean, they waited right. two weeks before they really did anything because, I mean, it was a pretty nasty fall. Right. Um, so I have been treating her neck, um, not only the left side, but right as well. Right. Um, and trying to do maybe a full body once a week. Now, they're letting me treat her three times a week. Okay. Um, we've done the first session, I did several in a row, and um, she did start about toward the last one I did during the first initial treatment is when we noticed her ear starting to come back. Um, and she is being able to move that a little bit. So we're going to continue on for the next month, three sessions a week, and, and see where we end up. I know this is going to be a long, drawn-out process. Absolutely. But you know, if you're so. seeing some reversal, if you're seeing a little mm -hmm. blink in the eye and you're getting some movement, and I mean, that fits to our our uh, protocol of treat as long as function continues to improve and then as often as necessary to maintain the function. And you know, so you're, it sounds like you're getting some result, and that's wonderful. You know, how much is it going to go? You know, nerves, it is so much more difficult to, to get the healing process and the nerve moving, to get the inflammation of a nerve relieved as opposed to a muscle. It just takes longer. And, mm -hmm. and, it, and, you, and, you know, if they're willing to stay the course and if the horse is able to live a pretty normal life and, and be happy and give them some, um, some pleasure in how they use it, bingo. And uh, like you said, they were going to put it down. It reminds me of the time I was called down to Lexington, Kentucky, um, uh, uh, a, a baby, a foal, uh, flipped and hit its head. And the vet said, this, this thing, this horse is going to die. We're going to put it down. And they called me and said, would you come down and just try to treat it? And I drove mm -hmm. down to Lexington. We treated this horse's head and his eyes opened and he started kind of looking around and, and bingo. Uh, within a day, he's up and, and it was fine, and they were going to put him down. And just because yeah. he was just totally nothing and may not have improved at all had we not caused some action in the uh, blood circulation, blood oxygenation, right. so on and so forth. So, yeah, See, I think I think you're on base. Okay, well, that's good. I was kind of a little... Not real sure, so I did. I wanted to check base. Yeah, I mean, certainly to like to. Uh, I mean, there's there's hundreds of years of uh, research behind the acupuncture points and what they stimulate and what they do, mm -hmm. and then to take let's let's get the overall body health so it can better heal itself and approach it in that perspective. You're you're right on base. All righty, good deal. Okay, Thanks thank you. That. Hey, Have info at PMF info at magnawavepmf dot com. We'll get you some gear. Alrighty, thank you. Okay, Mary, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Great question uh, from Mary. And those are really challenging types of situations when you're when you're dealing with paralysis. We've had people that have, have been in wheelchairs and or they try to walk and they can't just they just can't move their leg and after a few treatments they can get to where they can slide their foot maybe or do something. Well, that's tremendous and it gives them better stability and, and gets so you know it, you, you're not going to lose. Uh, by trying, and, and uh, that's always what we try to go to. If you can, if you can try, and you can do something, then certainly uh, it's worth trying, and you might get the result that you're looking for. As you know the story, that's why we're here. We, my wife had a very bad herniated disc situation; couldn't raise her arm above here. Constant pain. We had tried everything under the sun, got her some relief, but never any reversal. This device gave her reversal, gave her pain relief, gave her mobility, and it took a while to get there, as I was talking about with Mary. It, took, it might take 
several treatments or it could take a month or two of number of treatments to get to a point that something will last for a period of time. My wife's case uh, lasts three to four weeks, then she needs to concentrate and treat that area, get two or three times, then she gets the three or four weeks because it not only is it slow to go away when you're dealing with those types of pains, but they're slow to come back. So if you catch them when they're starting to come back and, and push them backwards, if you will, then you get that relief for a period of time. 502-599-9722, 502-599-9722, uh, if you'd like to uh, give me a visit. Uh, Barbara asked the question, can you explain what hydrowave water is? Most certainly. I started working with a, a water product, a, a colloidal silver water product, a number of years ago. Uh, and as you know, colloidal silver is a uh, where um, s small particles of silver in the water, and it is used. Colloidal silver was originally used as I'm going to call it an early antibody, but they use it on on. Uh, topical wounds. They used it for burn patients. Uh, it was very beneficial for comfort and the healing of burns. And then people began to ingest it and use it for internal purposes. Now they get some result with that with colloidal silver because certainly it fights bacteria and, and tries to do those things. However, colloidal silver as such is a more of a heavy metal and can leach uh, to the body. And there are some times where they talk about color, color change uh, in the body and so on and so forth. Hydrowave is a process that was developed during World War II, uh, I believe in Germany, or as a chemical warfare anecdote, if you will, to where they can take these nano-sized particles of silver, smaller than one part per million, so they would not leach to the body, and they put them through a special process by which they would take the oxygen in the water, put it through a process, we'd put the silver in the water, put it through a process with a, you know, a, a special process and the oxygen in the water would bind to those silver molecules. So you'd have little nano clusters of oxygen attached to silver molecules. Well, silver does an interesting thing. If you ingest silver, it will pass the blood-brain barrier and get into the bloodstream. Normally, when you drink water, it's for hydration and it does not pass into the, into the bloodstream. So what happens with hydrowave is you've got these little nano clusters uh, of oxygen and they go into the, the blood flow or bloodstream, if you will, and they look for other negatively charged uh, molecules or bacteria cells. When they come upon them, they basically attack them. They come apart, attack the bacteria, come back together. So the bacteria is killed off uh, with the silver and the oxygen, and then they come back together on this carrier. The silver is the actual carrier, but it also provides the benefits of the silver uh, that can be achieved as a supplement to the body, uh, the nano-sized particles of silver. So that's what the hydrowave water does. It's a special process by which the oxygen in the water is bound to the silver nano-sized silver molecules. You put it into the body, it goes around the body, fights anything that it can come up to that's bad, and uh, doesn't fight the good stuff. It only fights the bad stuff. Yeah, imagine that. That's a good thing. And, uh, and, and it does that, and then it will be passed from the body just through the body's normal <clears throat> passing features or, you know, normal processes of, of relieving the body of this, of, of whatever. Okay, so that's how it works, but that's why we are on a regimen of you do so much a day, if you will, or in the average, the normal, uh, prescribed, not prescribed, but the normal talked about dosage of Hydrowave uh, is to take four ounces of the product and mix, mix it into a gallon of distilled water because we want to put it in a very good medium of water. Uh, put it into to a gallon of distilled water and then consume eight ounces a day. Four ounces in the morning, four ounces in the in the evening is the normal type of dosage that many people have seen spectacular results from. Now, many folks. Uh, change that a little bit. They may do an ounce a day. They may do 
a quarter of an ounce a day, however they, they choose to do it. What I do is, as you know, I've shared in the past that I had a prostate issue a few years ago and we had to do biopsies and all that kind of stuff. It came back benign and dead and I was very active with MagnaWave and very active with my Hydra, HydraWave water when they was told that this could be an, an issue and I've continued, certainly both, but I do HydraWave daily. What I do is I have an eight ounce bottle that I basically uh, put half of it in another container that I use the squeeze bottle and I fill it with distilled water. So basically a, a, um, it's a 16 ounce bottle, it doesn't make any difference, eight ounce, 16 ounce. It, uh, and I make it to eight ounces. I put eight ounces of distilled water in it and I squeeze up a half an ounce a day. So I'll squeeze up a half an ounce or an ounce of that a day and I drink it. And that's my dosage of the hydro wave water hope i was clear in that but what it does and what's happened is i go back for my annual physicals and i was just there just in october and my doctor did my uh prostate exam he said everything was perfect and uh, no issues that he could see and so i was happy you know did i have something going on the hydro wave did not necessarily but i'm using it as a precautionary method uh, for that issue that i had as a result of that, I because uh, I keep this build up in my body, so I have the feeling that in, in the, the that this is constantly working. Any bacteria, any other negative things that could cause a problem, this hydroway water is an, is a potential supplement to attack and to aid in those type situations. Great question. That's the hydrowave. It's on the website. There's a report on there uh, by Dr. Jane uh, uh, Goldman uh, that talks about. Goldberg, excuse me, Dr. Jane Goldberg, that talks about the hydrowave water and what it's been done over the years. And uh, you can certainly take a look at that and have a look. And it, it's certainly available uh, to you or through your practitioners uh, from MagnaWave. Okay, any other questions that might be there, guys? And uh, okay, let's see. Amber asked a question. What attachment would you use for a dog that has mastitis? Where would you place the device? I would use... Probably I would use the uh, large loop, put it over the area of issue and uh, run it for eight to 10 minutes uh, a day uh, or as often as possible. If it's something that you're seeing a good result once a week, then you could do it in that fashion. But I'd simply, an overall body treatment would be good, but I'd put it over the area of the problem and treat for eight to 10 minutes on a moderate, comfortable setting uh, that, that the animal can easily tolerate and you're good to go. Um, and I think you could do that with any one of the machines starting all the way down from the semi all the way up to the max device. Comfort is the key uh, when you're treating those types of issues. Okay, anything else? Another question that we may have? Okay, um, did I see on your site a machine that is for home use that runs for hours? Great question, Barbara. Yes, it's called the B2 machine. I got a little story about that as well. Um, the B2 machine is a lower powered, uh, it's a ringer. So it work, it's the same type of signal that the Semi, the Max, the Pulse Pro, all the machines use. It's a ringing signal. A ringing signal is a signal that starts, goes up, comes down, and stops. And then the cells, basically it's like a bell. You ring the cell and it vibrates and then it calms down. Then you ring the cell and it vibrates and calms down and you get it going on that type of movement. So a ringer, that's what a ringer does, or an impulse signal is what it does. And this machine does that. Now, it, in, in our spectrum, we're talking about 500 gauss is the, liver, is the delivery of the machine. Now, we call it the B2 for two reasons, brain and body, the B2. There are five different settings on the device. I hope I get these right. I got one, I use it every night. But it's the delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. I believe I got those correct. Each one of those do various things. The delta and the theta are designed for more relaxation, sleep type of situation is the signal that they put off. Relaxation and, and, and sleep is what it's designed for. Now, our devices provide relaxation and help people sleep better. So let's talk about those two areas. And you can do those two areas individually or you can do what we call a sweep to where it goes through delta and theta. In that mode, it will run for eight hours. So you could sit and watch TV if you have a, have a back issue and you wanted to put it on your back 
and put the put the mat on your back and let it also comes with a with a paddle and put the paddle on your shoulder for a shoulder issue that you're having and you could sit there and watch your TV or read your book or whatever you want to do for up to eight hours. What I do, and here I go. I mean, I, I am very proactive in trying to maintain health and health and wellness. I started developing a little neuropathy, uh, tender, not, not so much tenderness, but a a, a um, uh, circulation feeling in the feet. And I go to my doctor, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, so I'm not diabetic, and uh, since I've been doing C60, I'm not showing up any diabetic issues at all. But uh, so I go to my doctor, and I say, what's going on here? And uh, she looks at me, and she says, you know, you're getting a little older, and you're going to have some issues. And uh, so I said, great. And so she put me, I've got a little medication that I take to, for better capillary development, better blood flow, and that, and that works, but I still have it now. So I treated myself with the Pulse Pro or the Max, whatever I would have at home, treat my feet, and great. I had great results. The, the neuropathy was lessened. The tingling was not there. It was better. I can still tell it's around, but it, it's just better when I treat. I got the B2 and I put a mat at my feet in my bed. And so when I sleep at night, I have the mat, my feet resting on the mat, and it's incredible. It's, I'm basically treating my feet and legs. I'll move it up and do my, uh, my uh, uh, calves and of, my, of my legs and my feet. I've become, it's amazing, I've become kind of a magic person and moving this thing, thing around in my bed with my feet. So I'll start with it on my feet. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll slide that mat up and do either my knees or my thighs. There have been times that I've, whatever, there have been times that I, you know, you sleep and you wake up, oh, my back's kind of, and I'll slide it up and treat my back. And then I'll use the paddle under my pillow, putting off the signal for sleep. And I'm, I'm sleeping fine. And, and uh, you know, it, it's not an issue, but that's how I use it. It'll run for eight hours. That's the delta and the theta. Now there is the, and then you get into the alpha, which the alpha is a good signal, uh, steady, uh, much like the, the continual, although this, there's another signal on here, but, but it just, it, it, it's much like, I would call it the more of a lower setting on, on the semi. It, it's not as high as the semi, but it's just a little more than the delta and the theta. But it's designed, it's basically a rejuvenation. Right. So if you're working, going through the day and you're feeling, oh, I'm a little tired, put that on your back and it'll kind of perk you up a little bit. That's what the, uh, what the alpha does. And it runs for 30 minutes. And then you have the, uh, the beta and the gamma. The beta is far, if, if, from the brain standpoint, it also is putting out 500 gauss of PEMF. The, so the beta is far more reju really energy rejuvenation. I, I need to concentrate on something and I'm doing something. If you got this, put it on your back, treat yourself and it mm, fires up your, your attention, if you will. And then the gamma is, in Europe, they use gamma a lot. In the United States, a lot of people who are into this don't really embrace the gamma. That's where the, the monks are. They talk about when they do their meditation, they get into the state of gamma, and it's really, it's really intense. And in European places, they do that a lot. They, they understand where they are on the scope of, of the frequencies that they want to achieve and, and how the signals are generated. What happens is all of this is PEMF. But it is a signal that's delivered, if you listen to it, if I had one here, I'd turn it on. But the, the, when you put the sound, little, little sound uh, device on it, each one of them puts out a different range, did, 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 clicking, clicking type of regimen to get to the various levels of the frequency that they're trying to achieve, to get to those, uh, what those energy levels will, are said to induce in the body. So in, in Europe, they talk a lot about gamma. In the United States, they kind of stop at beta, and now more people are going there. But our feeling is, if you understand what you're doing and how to use it, and you work yourself through the system, and you want to utilize the gamma to for its deep meditative uh, type of situation that it brings you to psychologically, then that's uh, that's that can be for you. So that's the device and and what it does. There is one other setting that's up there, and it's called subtle PEMF. So it is the low setting, the low, low, low setting on the semi-machine that delivers subtle PEMF. Now you can use that by itself. 
If you want to turn that on and treat yourself without any of the thought of the frequencies being delivered to your body, you use the subtle PEMF, which is much more stronger. It's 500 Gauss again, so we're up there in the higher Gauss levels. Uh, it's the, the PEMF by itself is not 500 Gauss. I believe it's 250 Gauss, just the PEMF. When you, it always runs in the background when you're running the other frequencies, so it's there. But when you're running just it, just the subtle PEMF, it's around 250 Gauss, which is 10 times stronger than the Beamer machine or other machines that do low voltage, uh, low frequency uh, types of treatment. So you could run that just by itself. It also runs for 30 minutes. So the eight hour seg signal signals are the delta, theta, and the sweep. And then you have the alpha, beta, and gamma, or the subtle PEMF. I'm acting like I'm punching the buttons up here. The subtle PEMF are run for 30 minutes at a pop. We're doing some changing on that machine that we may get it to where we can stimulate the subtle, not may, we're going to reprogram it to where the subtle will operate for several hours. If someone wanted to sit, have it at their desk, have it uh, in their bed, have it in their chair at home to be able to get more hours of relief at the lower Gauss type of setting. So that uh, is an explanation um, of the uh, B2 machine. It's a neat machine. I believe it's $3,900 as compared to $7,000 uh, for the others. Could it be used? I've got folks that, that, and we've played with this a little bit. Could it be used if you're treating animals? Most certainly. A dog can lay on the mat. You could treat the pole uh, of a dog or a horse because it's very subtle, very low, and very, you can hear it. I mean, you, what you feel, you don't feel it like you feel at other devices. But if you put it on your back, after a few minutes, you're going to feel the you, you know, it's just a feeling going on in the area where the mat is. You don't feel the pulsing as such, but you do feel the energy going. And you can hear it. You can put it, you know, you click, 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 click. So it, it goes through those those ranges. So you can, it, there's enough energy there that you can actually hear it operating. It also has the little sound clicker like we use on the semi device and the, um, um, uh, Vesta Duo to be able to just to hear what's going on exactly with all the various settings. So that's the B2. Uh, Brad, if there's any other questions, uh, here we go. Uh, could someone with a pacemaker use the B2? Jennifer, that's a great, st a great question. Um, many pacemakers today are made in a manner that PEMF devices, or they, they, they're called MRI safe. So they can have those types of things. Well, we're not like an MRI that we are a constant signal. And there have been doctors that have said, if you're using even the, the Max machine or the Pulse Pro machine, as long as you're a foot away from the pacemaker, you can, you can use it. With this device uh, being the low gauss that it is, I've had some folks where the doctor has said, and this is where you get into a situation, because the company, because they don't want to get in trouble, they don't want to do anything wrong, they'll say, don't do this around our device. And so companies will do that. They will say, don't do this around our device. And so if someone's going to follow that, but if they're and a doctor doesn't want to say, well, I think that you can do this, but the company says you can't do that. So I'm going to say for general purposes, it, it, it de depends on what the device manufacturer stipulates. And there are devices that are said to be MRI compliant or MRI safe. And pacemakers are now into that. Some brands of pacemakers fit that type of, uh, of uh, qualification. And so that's something to consider. But certainly could you use a device, a very low power device to treat someone's low back or their knees or their ankles or their, you know, their upper neck? Uh, you know, it, it's certainly clear with the doctor and, and talk to him what's going on, but it's a low power device that in many cases uh, does not interfere with a lot of different devices. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, great question, but always consult with doctor or, or uh, medical professionals to find out exactly how something uh, could be used or should be used with the, with the device. Let's see. Um, is this a, a different message? Okay, let got another call here. Let me bring this one in. How are we doing on time? Oh my God, we're about out of time. Oop, let me bring it back up. This will be our last one here.
great participation today. Thanks for, for doing all of that. Let's see what we got here. Good morning. Hi, Hazel. What's up? Hi. Um, I have a client that has hearing loss in his one ear due to a stroke. Okay. Um, but he hears, he hears ringing still. So I've been treating it with the butterfly. Uh-huh. Um, the, ther- the therapist did say that ringing is a good sign. It, it means that the nerve isn't damaged. It, they're still getting some um, noise through there. I mean, he he's totally he cannot hear out of the ear, but he does hear ringing. Uh-huh. Um, so um, hopefully, I'm using the the butterfly. Is that correct? Or yeah, the butterfly use- butterfly's uh, fine. Butterfly, actually any coil will do it, but the butterfly is certainly smaller and more direct to the area, correct? Okay, so he feels it more in his teeth than anything, but it's, I said, just keep it there, just let's let's try this, so so that's correct then. I And I would do the same thing that we were talking about earlier uh, with the horse that was paralyzed. Obviously, uh-huh, he had a, uh-huh. he's had a stroke, and so there's damage, no. Uh, for example, we had a gentleman that we treated for a number of years that, that had aphasia after a stroke and he couldn't make sentences or say specific things. So we treated his cognition area of the brain and then we traded to the area where the damage occurred. And okay. we were able to improve, and, and he had been through all kinds of uh, uh, speech uh, situations at the... Um, Therapy, uh, yeah. in, in therapy in Louisville at the University of Louisville and and they finally got him to where he could as far as he could go and so we asked can we work with him and they said yes and we did and we were able to improve his speech cognition and and his speech by about another 35 percent where he could see things wow. and say what they were he could make sentences his big struggle became he could make a sentence he would sit there and say something to you perfectly and then but if you in, in went into a conversation then at the struggle would return a little bit but okay okay. so in in this situation certainly you have serious nerve damage to the ear from the stroke caused from the area of damage now would that not Mm -hmm. be beneficial to treat other areas of the neck shoulders and head just to maybe find (laughs) what's going on and and get some okay uh, so what i've been doing is using the equine wings and so one time i'll use the equine wings i'll open them up and have them sit on them so he's getting a full body because he has his left side is also paralyzed. Okay. Okay. Well, it was. It was. It's it's coming back. I mean, he's doing really great with um, PEMS therapy. It's it's a, he, uh, the therapist was amazed. Um, and, and another the uh, the opposite time I will use like a large loop on his upper back and mm-hmm. his lower back. So, um, but now I've been adding, I've been adding the butterfly to his head. Okay. So um, I would treat, if you're treating the, the left ear. ear, I'd also treat the right. If you're, you know, I, it, oh, okay. I, I, why not? And, and, okay. uh, and, and just approach it from, from that perspective. But if you're getting some relief, <coughs> you know, can, um, can you get rid of it? I'm going to call it tinnitus, uh, type of situation yeah. and, and approach that, uh, and, and it, it may get better. But I, you know, you, he had to he had to wear a boot, um, a special made boot because his foot would drop. Right. And after one treatment, the therapist came and said, "Why are you wearing that boot? You don't need it." There you go. So I I, I know it was the MagnaWave because he wasn't getting that at the hospital with therapy, and with one treatment, it he was he was just ecstatic. He had to call me and and he was just so happy. Um, he's like, when can we do this again? <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. And you know, you, you just never know what, what in, new energy to the body is going to do. And, and, uh, uh, it, it's one of those, that's one of those stories that, uh, and all you can do is keep going and hope that it just continues to get better. Yep. Yep. So we've been treating him regularly. So that's awesome. Well, we Hazel, love- that's great. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And, and, but that's what I would do. I'd treat, I'd go shoulders and, and the other side of the head and just kind of let's, let's just uh, put everything out there and, and maybe help it. Okay. All, All right. right. Hey, great. info at, at magnawavepmf.com. We'll get you some gear. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay Pat. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Yep.
Okay, uh, it's time. I need to run to another meeting. It's been a good hour. I've enjoyed being with you. We'll certainly uh, be back next Tuesday, um, and I'd be happy to uh, visit with you at that time. If you have any questions, send them to me at, at uh, pat at mwpmf.com. And I'd be happy to answer your questions. Call the office, leave a question, post it in the Facebook page. We'd be happy to. Uh, we want you to get all the answers you want. We want to be transparent about what's going on. So if we can help you, we want to do that. Wave on. Have a very healthy uh, MagnaWave day. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.